Hey guys, Flo here and I wanted to talk about a topic very dear to me in the FIFA series, career mode. And to be more specific, what I think career mode needs for a better manager experience. I thought about things I would like to see in FIFA regarding career mode and I came up with this top 5. Now I'm not gonna throw things like changing kits after finishing seasons or licensing uh, Champions League and Europa League or more licensed leagues, upgrading stadiums and all that because while these are great features, it's not possible at the moment. Uh, it's not realistic for EA to, to throw this in the game at the moment. So uh, we're gonna keep it at a realistic level, nothing too fancy, something that EA can do. I also won't talk about things already confirmed like uh, the new interface, which is awesome by the way, and the new scouting system, because they already do that. So, uh, and the fifth spot, bring match day in career mode. So to expand on that, what would be a great addition to career mode is to update the stats of players according to the recent form similar to what match day does with the exhibition matches for example. You can argue that the morale and mood of the players change but you don't see a proper modification in regards with the overall stats of the player and I believe that you would give more players that you might not think of playing on a regular basis, give the substitute a chance. Imagine seeing in your team that red arrow next to your superstar and thinking man I'm gonna give this other guy a chance. Just because he has a rising green arrow, picture this. I'm just gonna give a simple example here. Uh, you have Sigurdsson, yeah? So, um, first team player being on a bad form, you see that red arrow and you don't uh, wanna play him. From the bench, Huddleston comes in, plays a great match, maybe scores a goal, uh, you get the satisfaction of making the right decision. Or, or not. You would have to think about the selection more, do I keep my superstar on the bench, the substitution is scoring goals, but I paid 50 millions for this other guy, how many chances is enough, this guy will get frustrated, this guy deserves it, the fans will get on my back, and all that crap, basically endless possibilities. Moving on to the fourth spot, more ways to win or lose money, I'm thinking about sponsorship. TV rights, advertising, signing contracts with uh, companies, selling kits, merchandise, putting price on the tickets, all, all that good stuff. All the income you get now in FIFA is just from selling players, winning trophies and asking for more money from the board. When it comes down to losing money, it's pretty much the same thing. Imagine having to sign a contract with a company or brand. It doesn't need to be real brands, like uh, I don't want to the flashy real logos from real life, I just want to know I made some decision. Uh, that regards uh, that regards that as well. Again, you may argue that it doesn't concern the manager, but I think it creates a better experience. FIFA manager has a similar approach, or, or used to. I'm not sure if they still do this. You would get the uh, objectives from the companies you sign with as well. For example, you signed a contract with uh, with EA or with Flow TV. Doesn't matter if it's real or not. Flow TV will tell you that. If you win the cup, you will get 1 million, and if you get only in the semi-finals, 500,000, or something like that. And you start to think more about money. Money is a big part when managing and owning a football team, and uh, this can really make a deeper experience, in my opinion. This does not have to show on the kids, does not have to appear on the stadium, nothing like that. But you can sell the stadium name, for example. You can have their logos in the press room, and so on. Third spot. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one short, online career mode, while I realize this is somewhat complicated, it is not something not to think about, playing with a friend in the same career mode or something similar to that, something similar to, to what PASS has with, uh, with the online master league, online career mode has always been uh, on people's minds, so uh, it needs to happen. Moving on to the second spot, interaction with players, fans and press. At the moment, the only relation you have is between you and the chairman, the players, and the guy who sends you email. Now, those relations are poor. Let, let's just keep it at that. Uh, what career mode needs is proper relations with the players, small dialogues that make the player morale boost or maybe not. It doesn't have to be a long dialogue by any means. I understand that some repetition might come in but it will benefit the experience. Even more important than that is the relationship with the press. Look at Rafa Benitez where, with Chelsea for example. The hype around Mourinho leaving, uh, this affects the players, uh, this affects the fans. Press conference at the beginning of the match would be fine. Uh, at the end of the match, when you want to announce something and uh, with your answers the media makes a profile of you. 
Again, this, uh, these are just ideas. Some may say this uh, would get boring after a while, but uh, if executed properly, uh, it would be one of the best uh, additions. Also, you could switch it off if you want. I don't know. Number one, by far, what career mode needs the most in my opinion? What would differentiate it from the other modes and would make it a massive mode is training and youth. No, I'm not cheating. I'm not talking about two things. They are pretty much related. And if you feel like I'm cheating, then think it's a top six, yeah? This is not really the point of the video, is it? Anyway, at the moment, career mode is just a place to get from a match to another and to buy players. But what happens between two matches? What players do when you don't see them in matches? They train for the match. Use something similar to the skill games. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Use that, but training it's a must in career mode. You can't get away without it anymore. I don't care if it's just selecting some traits that you replay every week, even though I prefer something like the skill games, but I repeat, training needs to be present in a career mode, regardless of the way you implement it. If you want to improve a player's shooting, make the player play a... Uh, a skill game that involves shooting. If you want the goalkeeper to improve his reflexes, make a few saves in the arena. According to how well you do, the player uh, improves or not. And I could go on for ages, the possibilities here are, are endless. Let's say you can do a number of these uh, once a day and you could skip them if you find them boring or leave them to, to the second uh, manager. I believe it's not that difficult to implement uh, something you already have in career mode, so uh, it's pretty realistic that EA could do this. Now in relation with that, have a youth team or a reserve team, whatever you want to call it. I'm not saying that every team needs that. The database would have to be massive and uh, that would be too much, I understand that. But the player needs one. 18 players randomized with every career mode, with no player over 60 rating overall. I'm not saying that you need to interact with that as well at a crazy level or some sort, like playing with the team or something like that. Whenever I'm scouting a young player and I get him, I get an update of him uh, every now and then and uh, he appears alone, like he's training forever alone. That doesn't look right. Put that player in the in the reserve squad or the youth squad, again, however you want to call it. Depending on the randomized team, you could get a decent player to promote and train for yourself, sell or whatever you want to do with it. Again, you don't have to implement something new, but reuse thinking. There are other things that could be implemented in, uh, in career mode, but from my point of view, these are the top five. Tell me in the comment section your own top five. It, it doesn't need to be stuff uh, about what I talked about. It could, but it doesn't have to. Also, keep it realistic. More leagues, Champions League, and changing kids is fine, but is it really possible at the moment? Anyway, I'm your host, Flo. Tell me if I should make another top five, probably regarding another game mode. If you enjoyed this one, check out my other content. Subscribe for more. I'm see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,